Although it has been very dry and dusty as late, we got lucky with some rain overnight. At nine that morning the dust was virtually gone, everyone was lined up and ready to ride. At the sound of the starting horn, we headed out. Our first stop that morning was at the old clay pit about 20 miles out. A bit off the trail it gives everybody a chance to meet and stretch their legs. And with the dark clouds just to the north, I thought it was a good time to throw on some rain gear, just in case. Our next stop was in Millersburg. They have a very nice park with a pavilion, so we took an hour to eat lunch and top off the tanks before heading further north.
The Black Lake State Forest Campground was our next stop, and as far north as today's route would take us. At about 70 miles so far, the only casualty was a flat tire. The sidewalls were all chewed up from ride on it, so it couldn't be plugged, and with no spare, our chase truck drove him back to get his rig. After a nice half-hour break, we headed out on a different route south. Things had dried up by mid-afternoon and getting quite dusty. The northern section of our route did not receive the night's rain, so we made a few extra stops to clean windows and such. We were in no big hurry to get back, as we made good time most of the day, and after a damp morning the sunshine felt real nice. After 150 miles of pure Michigan, we arrived back in Atlanta where we started. We had a great group of riders today and I hope to see you all again soon. Our next ride is September 14th in Indian River. Till then, have fun, be safe. I'll see you on the trail. After 140 miles of pure Michigan, we arrived back at a Wind Sands Motel in Atlanta. For your own adventure, call and make your reservations today. So have fun, be safe, and I'll see you on the trail.